Welcome back to the Roundtable, I'm Retro Nemo, and today we're going to be talking about a new episode of The Amazing World of Gumball called The News. Now this actually isn't any cartoon news or anything sort of like that, we're just going to be talking about the new episode of the show. We're trying out a new format here, and we want to know what you guys think, so make sure to let us know in the comments down below. Now The Amazing World of Gumball is just an absolute marvel in animation, okay? This show is experimental, it is new, it's fresh, and most importantly, it's been consistently funny since it started. Dare I say it's even gotten funnier with the seasons that have come out. I mean, it's not often in animation or television or any show in general that gets better as time goes on. Usually you see a show decline in value and get less funny. You know, usually it's like, oh, that show is season 10, oh my god. But, with The Amazing World of Gumball, you just want more, and they keep giving it to you, and it just keeps being consistently funny. On top of that, The Amazing World of Gumball has found new ways to sort of reinvent itself throughout its run. It started out as the simple misadventures of a cat and his pet fish, who's also his best friend, and the weird eclectic friends that they go to school with, but the series has developed into so many different things, and it's tried so many different episodes. There's been skit episodes, like ones where they look at things online, there's one where they just completely disconnect from Gumball in general, and look at the entire town's perspective, they're never afraid to try new things and keep it fresh with the show. I mean, heck, they've changed the voice actors for Darwin and Gumball like four times throughout the show's run so far, and you can barely even tell. But I think of these skit episodes, the news is probably the one that made me the laugh the most. So let's talk about what happened in this wild episode. So the entire episode opens up in the perspective of a news show, and we see a reporter who is probably one of my favorite Amazing World of Gumball background characters because he's literally just this microphone head, and when he takes the microphone away, he doesn't have a head. It's just a really smart design. So basically, the first part of the episode is really just him covering funny news stories. He thinks there's a police chase, but really it's just the donut cop getting food at a fast food restaurant, so on and so forth. A running gag throughout the episode is that he keeps running to the location since they have only one reporter. I thought that was really funny. The episode has a lot of other standout moments, though. I mean, it doesn't stop here with the jokes. The weather segment was especially interesting and smart. So basically, the weatherman was completely green. He was standing in front of a green screen. I don't know. I, I mean, it's kind of silly, but it, it was funny to me. It was creative. I mean, in general, Gumball's writing is super smart and mature, and there's like a whole musical number about how the stocks are failing. That's, that's stuff that like some normal dumb little kid might not get. But a lot of other people will, and the show's not afraid to cater towards a mature audience. That's probably why it's so enjoyable to people of all ages. Though definitely the episode hits its funniest mark when they just run out of news entirely. What follows is them desperately trying to stretch the episode to its time limit by looking for news and asking people what they think about subjects, but they're not telling them what the subject is. The entire thing was just a really funny look at the news and a funny parody at that. It didn't make any stupid topical jokes. It wasn't trying to be like, oh, fake news, Donald Trump, blah, blah, blah. No, it was just a wholesome, funny parody of news programs. And it did it really well. I think it's pretty impressive that The Amazing World of Gumball can just completely abandon its main cast and still be one of the funniest episodes of the show I've ever seen. That shows that there's just strong writing and a lot of character here. That just goes beyond writing for the Watterson family. I'm gonna be honest here, I feel like The Amazing World of Gumball is the most original cartoon on TV today. I mean, it's not like it has a lot of competition at the moment, but seriously, this show's art style, animation, and writing. It's just all original, it's always fresh, and I'm in love with this show. If they released a diamond encrusted Blu-ray box set, oh, I'd, I'd spend my round table paychecks buying that baby right up. Well, there you have it, guys. That was the newest episode of The Amazing World of Gumball, The News. The next episode, The Lady, sounds like it's gonna be even funnier, so I'm excited for that one. But basically, those are just our thoughts on the episode. But what did you guys think? Let us know in the comments down below. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a like and share it. If you want more Roundtable, tweet to me at It's Retro Nemo or the channel at Roundtable Vids with our Instagram and Facebook under the same name. Check out our Snapchat, Roundtable YT, for funny goofs we capture throughout the day. If you're feeling extra generous, consider supporting us on Patreon. And if you're feeling extra social, check out our Discord Amino app. If you want to buy fresh new clothes, check out the Roundtable store. If you like the video, click that subscribe button for more great cartoon content. Click the notification bell to join our notification squad. I'm Retro Nemo, I'm super tired, and I'll see you guys next time.